How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Casper Spirit? Are you feeling a little bit better? Are you feeling a little bit better? How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Snoopy Baxter? Don't, don't chew on that, because that's dirty and that gets stuck in your intestines. Okay, he, so far he's, <clears throat> he's able to lean on the back of it pretty good. Except when he, he still is going up there. <clears throat> I can't really make him not. But last night he really didn't stay on the couch. He wasn't comfortable at all. So I let them come in. I, I hung out with them. But then he, di he didn't want to go to sleep on the couch. So I put him in his bed. Actually, he went in his bed. What's the matter, baby? What's the matter? Oh, now you're going to play It Hurts? All right, let's go home. Let's go in. Okay? He, I think he hears something out there. I don't see anything, buddy. I don't think see anything. Let's go in, Bubba's. Anyway, guys. On TikTok, I'm going to I'm going to bring it over. To, sorry about how I look. <laughs> I used a real nice filter on TikTok. Made me look beautiful. But anyhow, this is me. I'm a dog. Um, I'm sick again. Okay? I'm sick. My, But however, what a good piece of news is my sister is better. Um, according to my other sister. So, uh, according to my other sister, my sister Christine is feeling 200% better in the rehab. And she's doing her walking. I think with her walker. One second, guys. One second. You stay in there. You stay in there. No. You stay in there for a second. Mama's got to put the garbage out. I think, I swear, I think I'm the only one who puts garbage out. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on, I'm putting you on my car. Yeah, so she's doing 200% better, which that's great. I'm going to try to get in touch with her on the phone Devin did the other day but they only spoke for like three minutes now I'm just getting some fresh air outside I went outside with the dogs and supposedly it's going to be raining a lot I think by Sunday sorry about this hair situation and this whole situation but um when I put the other uh, video up you'll be like wow she really does need a filter and loads of makeup anyway I am gonna go to the doctor which is like the ER place because all our doctors are closed in order to get an appointment you have to go on a list there's only one hospital in this t small town so um yeah, I don't like that I'm waking up coughing and choking and then I think I'm better and I should be better because this is going on like three weeks of an infection of some type or another. But <coughs> anyway, it's, this isn't normal and I want to get back to work. I actually do want to get back to work because I get more things done if I'm actually like productive. I go to work. Then I'm in the mode of putting on an outfit and putting my face on. But what I wanted to tell you guys is I was like getting ready to have a glass of Jesus juice last night, right? And just like I usually just have one and I usually decide to have it at a ridiculous time. Like I'm talking like one in the morning. I start thinking about it at around 11. <laughs> And then um, I don't get to it, and then and then I'm like, well, I should just have a, a seltzer or a Diet Coke. So, um, yeah, I actually, or a cup of coffee, because, because of my ADD, sometimes having a caffeine drink at night has, has the opposite effect. I go right to sleep um, with my medicine, but anyhow. I was scrolling on TikTok and I came across a channel that I, I'm subscribed, not subscribed, um, following, 
right? Because when you subscribe on TikTok, you have to pay every month. And I'm not doing, I don't even know how to do that. I don't ask anybody to do that to me, but just to follow. Um, but on YouTube, you could just subscribe for free. Okay, I like that. So anyhow, I've been following this lady. Let me just go in because the dogs get upset. <sighs> they do. I already made Devin his dinner. I didn't have my dinner yet or lunch. But I was painting, so I was spackling and painting. I have a whole new line. Um, and it doesn't even matter if anybody buys it because I'm just, like, really inspired. When I get inspired, I have to have, like, a certain amount of unicorns, a certain amount of angels, a certain amount of uh, lovers, pictures. They tell me what to do certain colors so I finally got a lot of purples and I know you're probably saying well you're jumping all over the place what are you talking about okay so let me show you it's gonna come out backwards probably oh there then it's not backwards okay her channel is called chosen and touched right and I think she lives in Louisiana or Memphis, Tennessee, or I don't know, uh, somewhere in the South. I keep on associating her with Elvis. And last night I had like a little visit after she had me, she was doing a reading for me. It was probably hours and I came up on her channel. But like when you do lives, they disappear unless somebody saves them. I don't know if she saved them or not. But anyhow, she starts talking about my grandfather. And she says, does, does anybody, you know, resonate with this? This man that's given out candy. I didn't, I didn't say yes at first. But then she said he's very short, like five, five foot three. Or, and he's got a bald head or he's balding. Maybe he just has a little hair left. And then he has this funny walk. It's like a little shuffle. And that was my grandfather. Always giving us candy. Always giving us cough drops. And shuffling around. Um, the other psychic, her name is Southern Psychic Medium D. And she also said things to me too. And this was for free. They did all of this for free. And, you know, I'm following both of them. But I was always following her. But I, I don't think she recognized me. Um, but I started to follow the psychic too, and apparently they're friends or they work together. And then there were these two other people there. One's Jennifer Rose, one's Stacy Scott, and I felt that they were empaths or light workers as well. I I might even be a psychic as well, but I'm not sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But I wanted to thank Chosen and Touched. Her name is Lucy. Um. Oh my gosh, she wrote a book. It's a really important book. I want to buy several copies of it, um, but I just, I'm waiting for an email back. Um, anyhow, uh, please check out her channel. If, and if you want a reading, she does it for free. Um, just, you know, you just follow her and she does it for free. Whoever comes up, she does spirit led. Um, but anyhow, and if you want to give her uh, a present, a gift, you could do that too. But of course, I'm so friggin' lame that I want to give her a gift through PayPal, but I don't know how to do it. And I know I have PayPal, and I know people are going to say, but you have PayPal. Um, but I've never put the money out into PayPal to give to somebody else. I've received money through PayPal. And then I have my post office box, you know. You know about that for the people who are retro like me that can't really figure things out um, and do things the old way, old fashioned way. There's a lot more people in the world that do it that way. You'd be surprised. But anyhow, um, I wanted to give them a shout out and especially Lucy. I was having like after we hung up the phone. And she, she soon got off, and I felt so bad because I, I was like, I'm sure she, oh my God, she mentioned the ring. My grandfather said, 
Was there a piece of jewelry you were supposed to get and you did not get it? And I haven't thought about that for the longest time and I've forgiven the people involved. But yeah, I was supposed to get that ring and necklace. My mother always said that it goes to the youngest in the family and her mother gave it to her because she was the youngest and then when she passed she goes Kathleen you'll get this uh, she said so many things that that made me cry because how would she know that and I haven't thought about the ring and it wasn't expensive it wasn't like worth you know any money we had nothing but it was the fact that, and then she goes, she goes, you don't even have to tell me. She goes, and you're not really supposed to give her any information. You're just supposed to say yes or no. Very, very little information because it ruins her thought process. But she, she basically said, they came in and they took it like right under your nose. And I said, yeah, it was the day... <laughs> The day or the weekend of my mother's uh, wake and they came and we thought they were going to take us out to eat and we were laying around the couches crying me and my two sisters me Christine and Susan were laying on the couches in the uh, love seat and the couch in the apartment on Amboy Road and my uncle Sonny pulled up and my two aunts came out of the car and we thought for sure they were either bringing in a casserole or taking us to go for for to the diner and because we hadn't eaten we didn't we were just you know i was 19 uh susan was 20 and christine was what 24. anyhow um, we were just laying there crying and they, she said, um, I want to see your mother's jewelry box. Susan went into the bedroom, got the jewelry, that's something like I would do, but I was just laying there crying, thinking they were going to come over to the couch and like put their hand on me or something, say something. And Susan gave her the jewelry box. They went out to the car with the jewelry box. They came back in the house with the jewelry box and the necklace and the ring were missing. Okay, so when I did say something about it, I said, Susan, did th what they say? She said, no, they didn't say, do you want to come? I don't know. I don't even think Susan knew what was missing um, or Christine, but I had had several conversations with my mom about you know, and my mom didn't have fancy things. She didn't have diamonds laying around, nothing. She had very few things that was, you know, that she could give to her kids. But that was always talked about to be the youngest in the family because she was the youngest and, and I was the youngest. Well, anyhow, when I was at, when I asked my cousin, um, my aunt that was still, they were all still alive and said that, oh no, that goes to her daughter, my aunt, the oldest. Um, she had a daughter. Yeah, but she, she was the youngest in her family. Um, and no, she wasn't even the youngest. She had a younger brother. She had an older brother and a younger brother. So she wasn't the youngest. And my aunt Lucille and my Aunt Betty took it. They gave it to her. Um, I never got it back. And we never got taken out to eat. But she brought that, this, this psychic, I didn't even want to talk about it, but she brought that whole memory and I did forgive them. Um, I did forgive them because I had a couple of conversations with my, my aunt Lucille that nobody knows about and she was feeling guilty about something else um, because my mom was her little sister and you know she had not picked her up to take her upstate and 
my mother was so upset and my mother was crying, but she would never show me she was crying um, about it. And my aunt had told me, do you think she forgave me? And I was like, yes, I do. I do. She was hurt. She was sad. Um, but yeah, I think she did. So anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I sh I'm out here too long. I got to go feed the dogs. And I just want to say hi. I'm still going to do the Scorpio reading. I just have to do it when I'm a little bit higher energy. Maybe after I take my shower, I'll feel better. But um, it would be like late at night. But I will do it. You know that. Trust and believe. And I love you all. And I'll talk to you soon. Namaste. Go check out those two psychics on TikTok if you want to get a reading and you don't want it to be mystic brady and that's okay i have no problem with it because she trust me she filled in a lot of things for me that i was really wondering for that i can't do my own readings i can't do readings for myself i used to always when i lived in new york i always went to readers once or twice a year so this was really, I felt it. I felt it so deeply that I, you know, I, I messaged this woman and I told her I need to speak to her because I have some information for her. But, you know, she'll, she'll get back to me if she needs, if, if God wants her to get back to me. Okay, if she doesn't, it was still beautiful. I'll still follow her. And it was a beautiful, beautiful reading. And what she's doing it's the right thing but there was just a couple of things that I was hearing that I wanted to talk to her about but anyhow I will talk to you guys later namaste I'm outside again it may not be see see Casper is he's here something oh you sh you're come on baby come in come in we're gonna go home okay oh Easy, easy, easy. Let me take my papers in. Yeah, I was going to do this video last night, and I did the index cards, but my phone went dead. So then by the time I plugged it in, I was like, oh, my God, it's like 3 a.m. Okay, I love you guys. You want to have dinner? Oh, it's so dark in here. You want dinner? You want dinner? Okay. Why are you sitting in the dark? All right, let's close up the lines. Let's get the, the bowls. He's running pretty good out there, but um, then he started to limp. All of a sudden, like when I was like doing a video of him and saying how good he's doing, and all of a sudden he doesn't lean on it. <laughs> he starts limping. Remember Cleo used to be like that? She used to just limp to me. I did it! Oh, yeah.